Hello and welcome to a very special Sega News Bits. I'm Barry. With me is George. That's me. And we're also joined by Woody, Buzz Lightyear, Goku, all the Capcom characters, Bugs Bunny. What am I talking about? I'm talking about a weird Sega survey that came out. Uh, it was basically asking people how interested they would be in playing a Sonic game that featured the following collection of characters, and the franchises included My Little Pony, Adventure Time, Pixar, Capcom, Looney Tunes, Disney, Nintendo, and Dragon Ball Z. And a lot of people were freaking out about this, but what's what's the truth behind all this? Who was asking this? Does it mean anything? That's what we're going to discuss today. Um, but before we get to that, I did want to ask you, George, George, I almost said your name wrong. Uh, what? It's a hard name. It's a very hard name. <laughs> George, what franchises listed do you think would work best, and which ones do you think would work worst in a Sonic crossover? Uh, none of them. No. Um, <laughs> Nintendo, obviously. I think Disney could work. I think Sega and Disney have had a pass together. Uh, I think, oddly enough, Dragon Ball Z might work. I think they have a lot of like stereotypes on each character, like Sonic going Super Saiyan, or like like Piccolo being basically Knuckles where he's like guarding these like Dragon Balls. Um, right. So there's little things they could bring up. I guess they could work. But uh, yeah, I guess those. I think the worst would probably be My Little Pony. I think nobody could accept that. I think that's just so weird and outlandish. Ugh. Yeah, I definitely agree with your best picks. And I also agree with your worst. My Little Pony has a lot of negative stigma with it. I know there's a lot of fans of it. I, I haven't watched the show i hear it's a good show i grew up and i know they had the you know the little toys and stuff but i just think that you know you got to step back look at sonic fandom look at my little pony fandom there's a lot of weirdos <laughs> so when you come when you combine the two you get you get just a punching bag for the internet and that's the last thing i want to see I was gonna actually say this. It looked like they got the survey people got this list by like going through Sonic fans' tumblers. Like they're like, oh, this is what they like. Yeah. Let's put it up there. Um, I'd also pick Adventure Time as a worst pick. I, I've seen it. It's a fun show, you know, all that, but it's definitely not as timeless as Sonic. And it's, it's just like, I, I could easily see Sonic and Looney Tunes or Disney or, I mean, Nintendo's happened already, but Adventure Time's such a specific thing. And I almost feel like it's kind of on its way out. Is it? I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I I saw the first couple seasons. I thought they were enjoyable. I haven't seen it after that. So maybe that's how everybody else is. Yeah. Um, and uh, what franchises not listed would you want to see Sonic crossed into? Hmm. None. I think, well, I mean, outside. No, I want them to cross over again with Sega, other Sega franchises, so we could have another Sonic and All Star Racing Transformed game. Yeah. Can, definitely. Is that too much? Like, if you're going to be doing all this, like, IPs from other companies, just stick in house. Yeah, definitely. Um, as, how about if you were forced, if you were, like, forced at gunpoint to pick one that wasn't Sega? Oh man! What kind of idiot would point a gun at you? What, I don't know. What franchise will Sonic cross over into? I, 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 that's gonna be a hard one for me. Like, tell me. Outside, outside of Nintendo, I don't really see another company that can match the, I guess, I, legacy IP in video games like Sonic. What about Mega Man? Capcom was already listed here, so I can't use Capcom. Oh, uh, you're right. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. So like, they're all listed there. I think that's probably gonna be it right there. I don't want to see them like. Like, you have companies like Microsoft. I, I can't see Master Chief hanging out with Sonic. Sorry, that's too much. Yeah, I guess if I were to pick one, just looking around my, my bookshelf here at The Simpsons, I think that would be really bizarre. <laughs> that would be pretty bizarre. I, I see, I, I, I'd be all right with that. Way better than Family Guy. I don't want to see that. Oh, God. Yeah, keep keep those characters away from Sonic, especially Quagmire. Um, I, I do want to add, though, that uh, we did ask around about this. Yes. For the, uh, and they told us this is Sega Network, so this is not a console game, so don't get too excited. Uh, we've been told that it's a, so it's going to be for mobile. My personal opinion is they're thinking about doing another crossover like they did Angry Birds and Sonic Dash. Right. I mean, yeah, don't expect a, a, a full game to come out. I think this is basically them testing the waters to see 
what franchise Sonic fans unanimously or by and large like, you know? And so let's say they get these surveys back and they're like, wow, a lot of them like Disney. Well then, you know, down the line, let's say uh, Sonic Dash, they're like, oh, let's add Mickey Mouse, which actually would work really well because, you know, Sonic and Mickey do have a history on the Sega Genesis. Both of them were platforming superstars. I mean, you look at Sega Genesis and if you want to play a good platformer, you're either playing Castle of Illusion or Sonic the Hedgehog. So, that's true. So, I mean, I think that's what they're going for. I, I don't think people should expect that we're going to see Sonic and Looney Tunes, the game. Because you also have to remember that the other side needs to agree. And I can't imagine a lot of these companies, especially Disney, as much as I'd like that Mickey game, to say, yeah, sure, let's have Sonic and Mickey. And Disney just literally announced, like, a couple weeks ago that they're, like, leaving the video game landscape. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, it's still, it's, it's, I think it's cool that Sega Networks is asking these things. I mean, we know in the past that they've, they've been sending out surveys and talking to people, so... You know, they're they're going through their own thing, just as uh, Sega of America are. And so I think it's great that they're talking to people and that they're they're testing the waters and they're asking these seemingly bizarre questions. I'd rather them do this than nothing at all. Um, and just assume they know what Sonic fans like. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, so let us know in the comments below what of these franchises you want to see the, them cross over with. Do you have any other suggestions that are not listed on here? Yeah, and get creative too and tell us um, maybe what sort of play styles or maybe even how DLC could be involved in either existing or future games. If you'd like more Sega news, check us out at segabits.com. And also don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and follow us on all our social networks.